Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So students for IBPS RRB GBO Scale 2 and Scale 3 2023 exam. Today we are doing insolvency and bank corruptcy code 2016. Very important topic. We are going to cover this topic with the help of quizzes, right? So we have already done in-depth session on bankexamstudy.com in the IBPS RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 course. So you can join the full course on bankexamstudy.com. In this course, we are providing complete video classes, the notes, quizzes and the test series. Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check and watch the full session. Okay. So let's start which among the following are not the core services rendered by information utility according to section three subsection nine. So information utility in the IBC Act in which a consi service provide nahi karte. Accepting electronic submission of financial information, which is correct. Safe and accurate recording of financial information, correct. Authenticating and validating the financial information submitted by a person. Resolving the dispute related to financial transaction. This one is false. Dispute resolution, this this is not a job of uh, information utility. Unka job hi nahi hai. Providing access to the information uh, stored with the, the information utility, which this is correct. So rest are the correct uh, resolution of the dispute is not the job here job in here information utility. Ka, okay. So which of the following minimum default required for corporate insolvency resolution process CIRP corporate insolvency resolution procedure your process Kaliji CIRP may minimum default is one crore one crore in CIRP pre packaged insolvency resolution process. Uh, PPIRP pre-packaged insolvency resolution process mein minimum 10 lakhs and maximum 1 crore. Theek hai? So that is for pre-packaged and CIRP mein minimum 1 crore. Theek hai? So please remember that bahut important hai this PP uh, the pre-packaged wala this question was asked in 2021 exam 2021 exam scale 3 mein ye question aaya tha and this particular question has been asked in 2021 again. Uh, 2021 2022 I guess in dono exams mein ek bar aaya tha ye. Uh, so very important question student please go through the entire insolvency uh, the IBC uh, 2016 video very important surf IC and IBC but important topic hai. so let's move forward uh, which of the following uh, uh, entities are entities are eligible to initiate CIRP corporate insolvency resolution process against corporate debtor under IBC Act 2016 so uh, financial creditors, operational creditors, corporate debtor itself, they are eligible for CIRP. Pre-package insolvency ka alag hai, different hai procedure, methods alag hai, time frame alag hai, to please go through that. That would help you for sure. Let me just hide myself so that you can read the entire slide, okay? Let's move forward to the next question. Which of the following statement is correct regarding the treatment of allottees under a real estate project under IBC Amendment Act 2019. So recently, uh, recently in 2019 amendment was a real estate project ke jo allottees hai, right? So uska, unka treatment kaise hota in case of uh, insolvency procedures. So allottees are treated as allottees are treated as allottees are considered as financial creditors and have voting rights in uh, credit uh, the creditors committees okay so b is correct which of the following authorities has the power to extend the deadline for the completion of carp so corporate insolvency resolution process ka deadline is 330 days which can be extended by supreme court of india so none of these is a the correct answer uh, only Supreme Court of India can extend beyond uh, 330 days. Okay. Only Supreme Court of India under section uh, under Article 142 of Indian Constitution can extend the CIRP deadline uh, from uh, for more than 330 days. 330 days ka maximum deadline is aage jana to you need Supreme Court ka uh, you know uh, ka ruling. The IBC 2016 has adopted which model for corporate insolvency resolution process creditor in control creditor in control uh, has been adopted a creditor can initiate pre-packaged insolvency resolution process when the debtor company has defaulted at least 10 lakh rupees 
एट लीस्ट मिनिमम कितना है मिनिमम इट इज टेन लैक्स टेन लैक्स मिनिमम मैक्सिमम कितना है वन करोर मैक्सिमम रुपीज वन करोर मिनिमम टेन लैक्स सो दिस इज प्री पैकेज इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस अंडर सी आई आर पी वॉट इज द मिनिमम मिनिमम डिफॉल्ट शुड बी रुपीज वन करोर ठीक है सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट दिस इट सेल्फ इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड हु रेगुलेट्स इंसॉल्वेंसी प्रोफेशनल्स इन इंडिया इंसॉल्वेंसी प्रोफेशनल्स आर रेगुलेटेड बाय इंसॉल्वेंसी एंड बैंक करप्सी बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया सो इंसॉल्वेंसी इंसॉल्वेंसी एंड बैंक करप्सी बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया इन शॉर्ट आई बी बी आई रेगुलेट्स द इंसॉल्वेंसी प्रोफेशनल्स इन इंडिया द पावर्स ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ अ कंपनी अंडर गोइंग कॉरपोरेट इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस इज एक्सरसाइज बाय हुम इट इज एक्सरसाइज बाय द रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल द रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल जस्ट टेक जस्ट टेक ओवर द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स एंड ही टेक्स ऑल द डिसीजन ही टेक ओवर द एसेट्स राइट ही टेक्स अ फुल कंट्रोल ऑफ एसेट्स अदरवाइज द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स दे आर गोइंग टू सेल ऑफ द एसेट्स दे आर गोइंग टू डू एंड नंबर ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो फ्रा फ्रॉड प्रैक्टिस दे आर गोइंग टू डू सो रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल हायर्ड बाय द करेडर्स कमेटी राइट so he take he takes over the the assets of the company who among the following has the highest priority in distribution of sale proceeds of liquidation estate in the liquidation process so whenever a company goes through an insolvency process the assets are sold the workmen or the employees they get the highest priority in the distribution of sale proceeds so a is the correct answer Which of the following financial services provider have not undergone corporate insolvency resolution process? So Yes Bank has not gone under uh, the IBC. No, Yes Bank has not gone under IBC. So Divan, S E R E I, S E S R E I, and the Reliance Capital they they have gone in, under uh, uh, they had gone under the insolvency resolution process. C I R P they have gone under that. So Yes Bank has never uh, gone through that. a committee of com creditors comprises of financial operational creditors secured creditors only all financial creditors all financial creditors are part of committee of creditors their voting rights are in proportion of the value of the debt no individual shall be enrolled as professional member if he is not eligible to be registered as an insolvency professional with the board so to become a resolution professional an insolvency insolvency professional you have to register with the ibbi to become an insolvency professional you need to register with ibbi that is mandatory within how many days a liquidator shall distribute the proceeds from realization from the receipt of amount to stakeholder within 90 days a liquidator shall distribute the proceeds from the sale of assets so students these 14 questions are very important for your exams go through the entire course of ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 2023 uh, exam available on bankexamstudy.com links are available in the description please check our courses are available on android i as well as on the ios apps you can access the course on your android device ios device from on bankexamstudy.com <laughs> If there is any doubt in your mind uh, just drop a whatsapp message on this number or just um, call on this number we are going to answer you so that's all for today students list of all our successful students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for all of them all these students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them so students if there is any doubt in your mind anything in your mind if you if you are doubtful about anything please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts okay so that's i guess all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye